we have a mannequin there um, that is the complete set of the personal protective equipment for a medical personnel to wear. Wala. Who's inside there? A woman? No, mannequin po. Um, oh, bakit may mannequin ako dito? <laughs> um, kulang lang po siya ng ano. Um, ano tawag doon? It lacks the face shield. It's nine-piece item. So we start with the the most expensive part is the coverall. Yung parang may takip sa ulo. Well, okay. This is the coverall. It has a blue strip, which is very. This is one of the uh, marks of a very expensive coverall. Uh, protection gear. This is what we call as Ebola level. Ang Ebola level, it can actually stop even air transmissible um, viruses. Uh, ano siya? It's lightweight and it's non-woven. My heat seal, even the soon portion is covered to make sure that eh, pag nagkaroon tayo ng spill, air or liquid, hindi papasok sa balat or sa clothing ng mga doctors. So when you go international, lahat sila itong sinusuot. There's only one country who's not wearing this, it's Korea. Korea has the same item but no heat seal. That's why even yung Korea companies that's trying to provide uh, supplies sa Philippines, we cannot accept their item because it's not heat sealed. Now the difference between heat sealed and not, it's almost 200 to 300 pesos. So mahal kasi, uh, we have a price from DTI, there's one company known as Conweb, they are producing PPEs locally that will start on June this year. So we will be buying it at 850 kasi local, but the materials will still be imported from China. But this one, pag imported to at least 1,100. That's the statement of, of Senator Lacson, yung 1,097. This is one, kasi this is actually 1,100. So when you say, they say PPE, so DOH, that's just the coverall. Now we have locally made items like this. Yung mga local kasi hindi siya medical grade. Tela ang gamit, fabric. So pag fabric, may tendency yun na papasok yung tubig. So hindi siya protective. It makes you feel secure, but it's not actually medically safe for you to wear. So let me inter interrupt you. Yes, sir. So do not buy that uh, that that kind of uh, overall suit, it is a plastic one, that would place the health workers, even if there is an, just an iota of uh, uh, chance na eh, buhay yan. Tama yan. Yun ang binili mo? Uh, yes po, this, this is high grade po. Yes. Tama yan. Um, this, oh, no problem. There is a standard set by DOH and FDA. Uh, ano po to? International standards, and we're following that. We don't go below. Kasi nga, pa, the company yeah, can uh, be sued. We can be sued. I agree with you. Po. Then agree that, with the you. next po, we have the um, goggles. Yung goggles natin. There are many types of goggles. When you that goggles po, meron siyang butas but not direct. Pag direct kasi pag may fluid, papasok siya. So my ventilation, but it's called the ventilation na uh, indirect, kasi my valve. So air can come in to make sure you will not perspire. The, the, the goggles is um, anti-fog, para hindi siya mag-fog. Oh. And at the same time, my ventilation, so that there will be no moisture. So pag wala siyang ganun, ang tendency, you sweat, mag, magpuputi-puti. Um, the next one is, we have two types of mask pinapasuot natin sa kanila. Both. We have the N95 or the KN95 and we have the surgical mask. Where is the other one? The other is a surgical. Uh, the blue one is the surgical, the white one is the KN95. Okay. Um, it's a standard set by DOH, double mask po dapat ang suotin. And after that, we have the lab gown. The lab gown is isolation level. So the coverall is protective level, even air and water, hindi makapasok. The lab gown is isolation level. It means pag nilagyan mo siya ng tubig, hindi papasok. Pag nilagyan mo ng pressure, saka tatagos yung tubig. So there are a lot of cheaper lab gowns, but they cannot pass. Kasi po, pag nilagyan mo ng tubig, 
tatagos lang. So, it makes you feel safe, but medically, if you're not aware, you are risking your life if you, if you do that. Okay, uh, let me, again, uh, pardon. Uh, sinong nag, uh, nagbigay ng specification? Um, DOH and FDA po. Oh, okay. So, so it's uh, more expensive? Yes po, because it has to meet the standards. Ito po lahat, naka-standardized. Even the gloves, sir, is um, non, it's powder-free, textured, and either latex or nitrile. Hindi pwede yung PVC or other types kasi masyadong manipis and hindi medical grade. Um, and ang advantage po lahat ng sinusuot ng mga doctors natin, kahit yung head cover and shoe cover, um, it it does not promote growth of viruses and bacteria, which is very important. Kaya hindi po pwede yung reusable. Uh, may binibenta mga reusable sa, sa market. We, they offer it to us. We send it to DOH. And ang risk kasi pag reusable, pag hindi siya maayos, pwede ka mag-contaminate. That's the explanation to us uh, given by DOH. So it's, it's, no, it's high no. risk. No, uh, Again, I interrupt you. Don't, do not ever do that. Yes, sir. You, you just throw it away. Yes, sir. If, if, if you place a person in jeopardy, he is working, lalo na yung mga doktor, they're fighting for life. Tapon mo na yan. That's the reason why we're spending money. 